Now, from Wish TV, this is The Zone Extra, presented by Franciscan Health Sports Medicine. Tonight on The Zone Extra Spring Special, excitement is high as the spring sports calendar kicks into high gear. Super, super excited just to see how this season, like what this season has to bring and looking forward to it. After a serious health scare, Decatur Central softball coach Don Ivey is happy to be back doing what he loves on the diamond with the Hawks. To be able to get back to work, my, uh, my employer has been great for my complete comeback, so pretty, feels pretty nice. And AC is joined in studio for a conversation with the commissioner of the IHSAA. We break it all down on the Zone Extra Spring Special right now. Hi, everybody. Hey, good evening to you. Welcome to the Zone Extra Spring Special. I'm Anthony Calhoun. Over the next 30 minutes, folks, we'll get you ready for a, a busy couple months of action as sports like baseball, softball, track, and more takes center stage on the high school level. Plus, we have the commissioner on the IHSA here with us uh, tonight, Paul Nydig, joins me in minutes for a great conversation. Always great connecting with the commissioner. Also, meet one of the state's best high jumpers and our future Indiana Hoosier. And Charlie Clooper has the story of a coach returning to action after a near-death experience in the offseason. Meanwhile, despite some ups and downs with the Indiana weather, we are fully into the spring portion of the high school sports calendar. And you can feel the excitement as teams and athletes embrace the new season. Great competition as well. We've already seen high level action in lacrosse, a softball game that featured 49 total runs, as well as some amazing times in track and field. And all the athletes we've talked to are thrilled to finally get things going. I'm really excited. Uh, it's last first game for me and for our seniors, and it's just the very first game of the season. I'm really, really excited about all of this. Um, we can all hit from top to bottom of the lineup, and we all can hit the ball really well. Every team's going to bring their ace pitcher and their A game every single every single game, so we're going to have to know like what to do, how to, how to be on top of everything, how to attack. Overall, I'm just super, super excited just to see how this se like what this season has to bring, and looking forward to it. All right, meanwhile, speaking of softball, let's take a look at some of the key dates, folks, this season. The tournament begins with sectionals on May the 23rd. Regionals take place May the 31st with the state finals at uh, Purdue University, June the 10th and the 11th. And what about the baseball calendar? We've got you covered there as well. Of course we do. You know the deal here. Sectionals begin May the 25th. The regionals will be June the 4th with the uh, state finals at Victory Field coming up on June the 17th and the 18th. All right, and as spring sports to get underway, there are plenty of great programs you can check out right here in central Indiana, including several teams that are looking to defend state championships in track and field. Both defending champions hail from uh, central Indiana with Carmel on the boys side and Cathedral on the girls side. The same is true in the biggest class of lacrosse. Uh, Hamilton Southeastern won the 2A boys title with Carmel bringing home the girls crown. Fishers is the reigning boys volleyball champion while in girls tennis Karma won last year's title Center Grove looks to defend its boys golf title while in softballs class 4A Ron Colley will look to uh, repeat while they are all thrilled to be state champs teams know it won't be any easy task to do it again we want every team to come at us and we're going to try our best and if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, but we're going to put everything all on the field every single time. We definitely know that we have a big target on our back, but even with that, we're definitely going to come out here and give it our all every game and I think that'll motivate us to do even better. We have a pretty good team again this year and I also think that we have another good chance, but we are definitely going to be taking it game by game and not look ahead. It's fun for the kids. Uh, you know, the, the, the girls have worked hard. They've earned everything that they've uh, accomplished up to this point and um, you know, yes, there has been a lot of hype, and we've got multiple players that, um, you know, have played a lot of softball. And um, when we get them on this high school stage, uh, there's not a lot that they haven't seen already talent-wise. So um, I feel like the excitement's there, um, the build-up's there, and hopefully, you know, we can produce uh, for, for our fans. All right, well, let's take a look at the local teams that won state titles last year in boys golf. Center Grove topped Garen Catholic by a single shot. 
Man, Carmel is the defending champion in girls tennis and boys lacrosse. Hamilton Southeastern won the Class 2A championship. Cathedral won his first ever girls track title in 2021. And on the boys' side, Carmel won the track and field title. Other defending state champions, including Ron Colley, which brought home the softball 4A championship. Carmel claimed the 2A girls lacrosse title in 2021. And in boys volleyball, it is Fishers. How about this? The Tigers, who are your uh, reigning state champion. How about that? All those champs right there. Okay, how about this, folks? Time for a break, but we have much more ahead here tonight on the Zone Extra Spring Special. Uh, coming up a bit later, look who's here, my guy, the commish of the IHSAA. Yes, Paul Nydig. He's going to join me for a great conversation that's on the way. Also coming up, up next to be exact, one of the state's best high jumpers is from right here in Indianapolis. The Ron Golly Senior taking things to new heights in his final year of high school competition. Our Olivia Ray introduced us to Eli Crouch after the break. And as we head to break, let's look at some key upcoming dates in boys golf. The state tournament begins with sectionals June 3 to the 6 there. And then the following week is regionals and state finals are a two day affair. June the 14th and 15th at Prairie View Golf Club in Carmel. Don't go anywhere. We're coming right back. This is the Zone Extra presented by Franciscan Health Sports Medicine. We're back here on the Zone Extra Spring Special. Anthony Calhoun here with you tonight. Here in central Indiana, this track and field scene has quietly featured several of the top high jumpers in the country in recent seasons. Uh, uh, Cameron Garrett tied the state record last year before starting uh, his collegiate career. And he passed the torch to an impressive new core of seniors. Our Olivia Ray has more on one of the top high jumpers in the state Helen uh, from Ron Colley High School. Standing at just six feet tall and weighing in at 140 pounds, Eli Crouch has never had the size advantage in his sport, but it hasn't stopped him from competing among the nation's best. I'm just trying to prove everyone wrong, you know? That's exactly what motivates me right there. Seeing that everybody not thinking I'm the best until I go out there and jump and I prove everyone wrong and I've been doing that. The Ron Colley senior has tied school records as a state qualifier and appeared among the USA's top 30 high school high jumpers. And while defying gravity, he's also had to defy some oddities in his career. Crouch's sophomore season was erased with the rest of the 2020 spring sports, followed by a junior postseason filled with a little high flying adversity. In junior year, the, the goal was to jump about 6'4 and have a shot to get to the state meet. Um, he jumped 6'9, so he exceeded all the expectations. Unfortunately, at the state meet, the week of the state meet, he got sick and he lost about 15 pounds the week leading up to the state meet. And he just, he just had, he was drained, he had nothing. So I think to build on his experiences, he's so competitive, he wants to win every time. I have high competition, but I think it's possible for me to win state. I know the work I put in, I know everybody's jumping against me, so I try and go out there and prove everyone wrong every single meet. For years, Eli Crouch has studied the art of high jumping, specifically the form of fellow and former Hoosier great, a gold medalist, Derek Druin. So it only made sense that Crouch would continue his career in Bloomington and follow in his idol's footsteps to jump at Indiana this coming fall. There's actually one dude who I modeled my career after, and it's Derek Druin. I try to be like him every day. I'm excited what Coach Herb's been doing down there. He's been doing some great things. And obviously, like my coach said, my goal is to, hook, to hit seven feet, but I think I can hit that this year. So when I get down to IU, I want to get bigger and better and compete for a national championship. Crouch has set the bar high and will continue to put in the work to clear it. First at the prep level, where he's focused on a few more podium finishes. Olivia Ray, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. Oh, what a great story there. All the best to him. Okay, folks, much more to come here on the Zone Extra Spring Special. Up next, I'm joined in studio by the commissioner, Paul Nydig. Can't wait to talk to him. And still ahead, Charlie Clifford with the emotional return to the diamond for one Central Indiana softball 
coach that is on the way. But first, let's take a look at some of the big dates for track and field. You see it right there, sectionals, regionals, state finals, right there on the screen. We're back right after this. This is the Zone Extra, presented by Franciscan Health Sports Medicine. We're back here on the Zone Extra Spring Special. Anthony Calhoun here with you tonight. We're talking all things high school sports. So who better to have here in studio for the great conversation than my, my man himself right here, huh. the commissioner of the IHSAA. You guys know the face here. Mr. Paul Nidig, great seeing you as always, my friend. And great I'm, seeing you, AC. I'm, I'm so used to tossing uh, to um, you know video of you uh, telling us, answering all the hard questions all our viewers are asking, and when it comes to high school sports, putting you on the hot seat. But it's great to have you here in studio, and you know it's so nice to see things back to normal right now, which has been awesome. How great has it been for you and your staff and your team to be able to see these sports? Go from one sport to the next sport and everything looking pretty good right it now. Has. It has. You know, being back to normal, and one of our sayings is welcome back. And we're so excited to have everybody back, and it's been an incredible winter. Yeah. Uh, through the fall, through the winter, you know, we just had a, a state basketball championship for the boys just uh, two weeks ago, and we had an yeah. incredible contest competitions. You know, the teams played. The thing that was great about that day, those teams played their best games at the end of the season and we had college coaches galore and the governor and the mayor and yeah. and it was celebrity city city at our state championship and it was just exciting for the kids but yeah we're back and we're going to really look forward to getting to the spring here yeah you know you talk about the uh, high school basketball championships uh, Tyrese Halliburton the new Indiana Pacer was so cool seeing him tweet these athletes during the state finals was so awesome I know he did one of the ladies uh, state finals and of course he's watching the, the boys as well so here we are getting ready to go into the spring sports uh, a part of the season and you know these these student athletes they had a tough time a couple years ago because really when COVID came about um, you know, as far as the pandemic, that, that was really the first sports after that sectional round in basketball that the spring sports pretty much shut down when you think about it. Now, here they are, had last year, now they got this year. What do you like about the spring sports? Well, I think it's, first of all, it's outside. You know, yeah. we've been all indoors all winter long. We have an opportunity to go outside. And I think the, the thing I love about the spring sport is it just, whether it's from the baseball tournament uh, to the track field, our kids get to finish in incredible venues. They get to celebrate their state championships at the best venues in the country, yeah. collegiate facilities at Purdue University and IU University yeah. and the track and, and Victory Field with the, uh, the professional baseball team. And, you know, our, we finish in some of the best facilities in the country. And what a better place to celebrate state championships. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're looking at these uh, venues mm -hmm. here. You see Victory Field there as well. And uh, before you know it, they'll be battling for a state championship coming up soon there right here in Indianapolis and you know you, you see here that you saw the screen there the, the softball the baseball as well of course we got golf seen on the screen right now uh, but but I kind of want to take you to um, uh, with a story on here on Wish TV recently about just the lack of umpires when it comes to these these baseball games and that that's got to be really concerning and it's disappointing too is unfortunate right it is and we do need more umpires and it's one of those uh, things that we constantly have to recruit more umpires and it's just a great way for people who love playing the game. They can come back and give back to the game that gave to them as an umpire. And you know, we want them to, to enjoy the game. And that's certainly one way to do that. We, have a, uh, we are actually have a pilot program that Sandra Walter put together that we're offering uh, umpire classes in high school now. So hopefully we can get these kids indoctrinated yeah. in umpiring early on Love and they'll continue with us even into adulthood. But yeah, we always need more umpires and without them, I don't know, parents aren't going to be able to watch their child play without a significant number of umpires. Yeah, so that's the word there, folks. Hey, if you want to help out, kind of give back to the, the, the community, and you love baseball, you want to become an official, dive in for these students coming up, can have the opportunity to be able to play these games. I know they've been counseling some games at times, uh, postponing as well, so need all the support they possibly can when it comes to um, uh, these baseball uh, programs here coming up the spring season. So I want to get your, your, your takeaways and what you've seen so far, as far as the, the fall sports, those great championships we saw at Lucas Oil Stadium, to where we are right now, the state of the game, if you will. Well, I think the state of the game is, it, it's in good shape. It's in great shape. Yeah. We've got 
Indiana is such a special place. We have incredible coaches yeah. that understand they've got to be the second classroom of the kid's life. They've got to be the education before the athletic part. And they teach our kids to grow up on the diamond just like they do in the math class or science. And these kids will learn valuable lessons. And the thing that we always know that these kids, when they learn these lessons from great coach mentors, education-based coaches, they always come back. They give back to the game as an official, yeah. as a coach, or maybe a doctor on the sideline that wants to work with the team. But it's just, I think it's just always an opportunity for that second classroom to be celebrated, and that's an education-based athletic system. Yeah, I love it, and it's so great to have sports back. Thank you to all you do for our great state here when it comes to high school athletics and your team as well. And we always enjoy having the commissioner on with us on Thursday nights, 7 o'clock right here on Wish TV. Ask the commish, as I like to say, and he's always got, he talks about everything. We talk about from his best venues of watching games, your favorite food when it comes to concession stand, and That's on right. and on and on, yeah. And, and we got that Evansville connection too. That's so right. Good, yeah. We're always going to find out where the best popcorn's at for <laughs> That's sure. That's right. I'm right in there with you, my man. Great seeing you as always. Okay, we're going to take a time out instead of coming here tonight on the Zone Extra Spring Special. On the way, our Charlie Clifford shares the comeback story that is lifting one of the top softball programs in the state. Our visit to Decatur Central is on the way. Now, let's take a look at a few more key dates on the spring calendar, this time in girls tennis. This is the Zone Extra, presented by Franciscan Health Sports Medicine. Back here on the Zone Extra Spring Special as softball begins across central Indiana. One community is lifting the spirits of a, a decorated head coach. Um, tonight, our Charlie Clifford shares the details of a story all of Indiana can rally behind this season. We need Don. He's like our leader. He's really had our back through everything, and I couldn't imagine not having him here. Don Ivey in the dugout. This site, a wave of emotion for one of the top softball programs in the state. This past summer, the Decatur Central head coach in the fight of his life. It was uh, all of a sudden, it was, uh, you know, had no warning signs or anything like that. I had to crawl into the bedroom, open the door, yell for my wife. Uh, it was pretty, you know, the first, the, I had two strokes. Uh, the first one, um, I don't remember too much about. And my second one was was a weird, uh, weird feeling. Was, I could hear everything that was going on around me, but I could not move, could not answer, could not tell the nurses or doctors or anything. Ivy hospitalized for 17 days as the Hawks community feverishly rallied behind its head coach. In September, luring him back out to his field for a moment no one will ever forget. They had an alumni game. It's a fundraiser basically for me. Um, as I walked through the gate over there, it was uh, pretty overwhelming to see a lot of the, the players, their, you know, their parents and uh, some fans, and uh, just, you know, watch them compete and a little slow pitch softball, and it was nice to see everybody. And obviously that helped me. Uh, Help me, you know, keep going towards my goal of, you know, being out here today. This week, Don Ivey coaches his first game of the season, and coach still wants to win. And this Hawks team will need no extra motivation taking this season as far as it can go. I think that a lot of seniors stepped in and really showed up and made sure that they knew that we, no matter what, we still need to get it done because no, we thought he was going to come back. It means the world that even after his medical hardships, he wanted to be back here with us. He was dying to get back. He was, even when he wasn't 100%, he was present, like doing as much as he can. And it means the world knowing that your coach wants to be there as much as you do. It's still opening week and the best comeback of the entire softball season in Central Indiana may already be complete. Charlie Clifford, Wish TV, wishtv.com. Follow us on Facebook. All right, Charlie, thanks a lot, and uh, all the best to them as well. Hey, by the way, folks, thank you so much for watching the Zone Extra Spring Special right here on Week TV. All the best of luck to all those teams out there competing for a state championship. I wish you nothing but the best. Have a good night, everybody. We'll see you.